Hello and welcome. I am Matt Taylor and this is my variety channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a square video in Adobe Premiere Pro. Why might you want to make a square video instead of the standard 16 by 9, like 1920 by 1080 p video? Well, because Facebook and Instagram are mostly viewed on people's phones and a square video on a phone takes up more real estate as opposed to having to turn your phone landscape wise like this to watch the full video. So more and more creators are doing square videos so it takes up more real estate and the person doesn't have to turn it, turn the phone to watch more of the video if that makes sense. So square videos are getting more and more popular by the day and I'm going to show you how to make them. Really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get started. All right, here we are over on Adobe Premiere Pro. I have the latest update installed, 2019. It may look different depending on which version you're using, but that doesn't matter. The steps will be uh, pretty much the same for whatever version that you are on for the most part. And your project windows might look a little different depending on how you like to edit. Now what we want to do is we want to make a normal 16 by 9 video into a square video. So I have this video that I produced before. It's a Spider-Man cake video. I made this for my cooking channel. And up here we can see that it's a 1920 by 1080 video. And normally what I would do if this was just raw footage or if I just wanted to make a sequence out of this is I would right click and do new sequence from clip. But we're not going to do that. What we want to do is we want to create a new sequence from scratch that is 1080 by 1080. Go up here to File, New, Sequence. Or you can do Command N. So normally what I would use is a 1080p DSLR 24 frames a second because that's what I film in. So I'm going to leave this selected, but instead of hitting OK, I'm going to go up here to Settings. I want to keep the frames per second the same. And now right here in frame size, I'm going to just change it from 1920 to 1080. And then now this gives us a 1, 1 aspect ratio, which is a square pixel aspect, pixel aspect ratio we want to leave at 1 and we want progressive scan and we want to keep the frames per second the same. Sample audio rate, we'll keep that the same. And this is looking good down here as well. And now it's up to you if you check maximum render quality and maximum bit rate, depending on how powerful your computer is. And then we want to save this preset, especially if we're going to be making a lot of these square videos. So hit save preset and we'll give it a name. I'll just call it square 1080 by 1080 and then hit OK. And then what we'll do is we'll come down here to custom and we'll pick our new sequence that we did. I have one that I did, I made before that I use and this is just for this video and I have some other ones that I've created. So here is the square video and then what we'll do is we'll give this a sequence name. All right, and then just hit OK. And now we have a square by square sequence here. Great, now what I'll do is I'll take my Spider-Man video, and I'll drag it down here, hit keep settings, existing settings. If we hit change sequence settings, it's gonna change it to whatever the video is, we don't wanna do that. And then, the video will play and I don't really need to do that. The, the logo looks fine in the middle here. Um, you could scale it down a little bit if you want, depending on your video. And I actually happen to be right in the middle already, so I don't really need to do anything with this. But then what I'll do is I'll just scrub through till the next edit. Some of them you might want to put an edit point. Hit the C key on your keyboard to get the cut. And we'll cut that. And then right here, come up to Effects, Controls, and under Motion, you might want to move it around a little bit to get something more in folk, more as a focal point, something like that. 
because I'm talking about the cake that I made. And then I'm reaching over to this cake board. That's okay to leave it like that. And then you're just gonna go through the video if you already have a 16 by nine video, which you probably will. And then you're gonna just go through and you're gonna re position various clips uh, whenever needed. Now, if you always have the subject right in the middle, even with your 16 by nine frame framing, you might just leave it as is. Like in this video, I pretty much had everything in the middle to begin with, so I wouldn't have to move a whole lot. Um, just go, it just depends on what you want to do. So like right there, it's out of, it's out of the frame, out of the shot. So I'm rolling that fondant. And then what I could do, I'm rolling the fondant, and I'm gonna get it ready to put it on uh, Spider-Man's face, a little webbing. So right here, I could just do like a little move where this clip will move it over. And then we'll just watch how that edit goes. Yeah, that looks fine. So you can do something like that if you want, um, but you'll want to watch through the whole video and you want to cut and move things around just so everything is how you want it to look. And then you can go ahead and just export it like you would normally. I always use Command M. And then you'll double check down here at the summary. It is 1080 by 1080, which is what you want. And go ahead and export it, whatever you want it to be. For a square video, I usually just do six or seven target bit rate up to a maximum bit rate of 12. And then I will keep the audio high quality at 320. My computer is pretty slow, so I don't ever check the render at maximum depth. And you don't seem to notice. And you can go ahead and render that out, maximum render quality down here also. And then you'll want to select the destination, of course. You'll already probably be familiar with this. Hit save and export. And then just let it render out. All right, now I want to open up the video and it's nice and square. Pretty awesome. Well, there you have it. That is how you make a square video in Adobe Premiere Pro for Facebook or Instagram or whatever other social media needs you might have. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Until next time, happy editing everyone.